Mikhail Bakhtin. The work of Bakhtin has the capacity to reinvent education itself. In fact, a discussion between writers of the 21st century and Bakhtin may turn into an interesting one when it comes to teaching and learning in their purest form. In this video, we present to you Mikhail Mikhailovich Bakhtin, who is a Russian philosopher, literary critic, and scholar. He is known for his work on literary theory, ethics, and the philosophy of language. He is considered the father of Russian dialogue. Please subscribe to Teaching and Learning Central before we begin, though. After that, please provide a comment about any further Bakhtin-related topics you'd like to learn more about. Let's get started now. What is language, according to Bakhtin? Bakhtin argued that language is realized in the form of individual concrete utterances, oral and written, by participants in the various areas of human activity. What are social languages, according to Bakhtin? Social languages are typically associated with local social contexts or domains of practice. For example, profession, age group, social set, cult, at particular times and places in history. For example, an attorney would probably use what we might call legalese when in court, but almost never when playing with her children or relaxing with friends. What is utterance in the social language? In spoken language analysis, an utterance is the smallest unit of speech. It is a continuous piece of speech beginning and ending with a clear pause. In the case of oral languages, it is generally, but not always, bounded by silence. Utterances do not exist in written language, only their representations do. What is dialogism according to Bakhtin? According to Bakhtin, dialogics or dialogism refers to a process in which the author, the work, and the reader or listener interact to create meaning. Additionally, these components are impacted by the social and political dynamics at play in the location in which they are situated. What is heteroglossia by Bakhtin? Bakhtin used the term heteroglossia, which refers to the juxtaposition of various languages, speech genres, and dialects to characterize both the abundance of various speech patterns and the nature of the relationships between various languages. Who coined the term addressivity? The term addressivity was created by Bakhtin. In an effort to refocus linguistics, Bakhtin asserts that one fundamental aspect of language is that it is constantly oriented toward the listener. A sentence's addressivity is what transforms it from a possible utterance into an actual one. What are genres according to Bakhtin? Genres are discursive frameworks that group conversation into recognizable or long-lasting text structures and social behaviors that achieve predetermined goals within common communication contexts. Conversations, academic lectures, service interactions, storytelling, proverbs, and military orders are only a few examples of speech genres. How does Bakhtin conceptualize voice? Voice is a discourse that contains a strong ideology. It is the verbal ideological viewpoint that is conveyed in a specific statement. Every voice has its own timbre and overtone, as well as a will or desire behind it. What is the carnival theory of Bakhtin? Carnival, according to Bakhtin, is a manifestation of folk humor and folk laughing. It represents a popular folk-based culture. Bakhtin's ideas may potentially have a substantial impact on how future academic debates and research on the effect of learning opportunities on academic knowledge access are conducted. Conversations are necessary to challenge outdated and somnambulistic notions of what constitutes the best practices in education. Well, that's a wrap on this video. We hope Hope you found it informational. And if you did, make sure to press the like button and show some love by sharing this video. Be sure to leave a comment about how Bakhtin's work has been influential in your thinking, teaching, and learning. And if you haven't subscribed already, make sure to subscribe to our channel to check out more mini lessons and summaries on educational topics. Thank you for your service, educators. Until the next time.